Okay, last algebra video for the year. We are going to review solving inequalities that was done quite a while ago. There are quite a few examples and then there are six practice problems and we will do the odd ones together. So if you can pull out the solving linear inequalities, you'll find it has reminders at the top, the addition, addition property of inequality and subtraction property of inequality. So when you add the same number to each side of an inequality, it remains true. So it balances out that equation. And when you subtract the same number from each side of an inequality, the inequality remains true. So we can also multiply and divide. When you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same positive number, the inequality remains the true. And then when you multiply or divide each side of an inequality by the same negative number, the direction of the inequality symbol must be reversed for the inequality to remain true. So when we are multiplying or dividing by a negative number, we're going to flip the sign. Here we have our examples. Remember it says in solve an inequality, isolate the variable. So make the variable be on one side and the um, letter on the other. Okay. So we have here a is x plus 1 is greater than 3. So how will we get the x by itself? We're going to subtract 1 on both sides. Okay. So they've subtracted 1 on both sides. We have x is greater than 2. So we are going to use the um, line here. We haven't done this in a while, but it is the number line. We're going to use the numbers 0 through 5. And it is an open circle because it is greater than. So x is greater than 2. So we circle at 2, an open circle, and we shade above 2 because x is greater than 2. Okay, on b, we are, how are we going to get that x by itself? We have negative 3x is less than or equal to 9. Well, to get x by itself, you have to divide each side by negative 3. So if you are dividing by a negative, remember it says you have to flip the inequality symbol. Okay, but it still needs to remain equal to. So we have, at the beginning, negative 3x is less than or equal to 9. And then after you've divid divided each side by negative 3, you're left with x is greater than or equal to negative 3. Okay, so we need to go down to negative 3. It is a closed circle because x is greater than or equal to negative 3. So what's bigger than negative 3? Well, any number headed towards the right, headed towards 0. Okay, remember the numbers here, this in this section here, that means it is bigger. So that is why we are going that way with the direction. Okay, example C, negative 25 is greater than or equal to 9y plus 2. So this is a two-step problem. First, you need to take whatever is away from the variable, which is plus 2, and do it to both sides. So to get 2, or to get 2 onto the other side, we have to subtract it on both sides. So 2 minus 2 is 0. And then negative 25 minus 2. Keep change, change. Keep negative 25. Change this to add and change this 2 to negative. Negative 25 plus negative 2. So 25 plus 2 is 27. We keep that negative sign. Now we need to get the y by itself. How would you do that? By dividing by 9. You divide by 9 on both sides. And because it is positive, you do not change the inequality direction. So you're going to divide each side by 9. Negative 27 divided by 9 is negative 3. Because you only have one negative sign, it remains negative. So your solution is negative 3 is greater than or equal to y. So it's saying that y, negative 3, is that biggest number. So the biggest number is negative 3. It is a closed circle because it's equal. Then everything to the left, or everything that's smaller than negative 3 is in that. Okay. D, Z divided by negative 2 plus 6 is greater than 10. Okay, so you start with the number that's away from the variable. So let's start with 6. You subtract 
fixed on both sides. Now you need to get rid of this negative 2. And we're going <clears> to <throat> take the negative sign with a 2. Six, uh, 10, to, 10 minus 6 is 4, which is how we got here. So we're going to multiply each side by negative 2. And because we're multiplying by a negative, you need to change the direction of your uh, inequality. Excuse me. So multiply each side by negative 2. That will cancel out this. Leave us with z. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So the solution is z is less than negative 8. It is an open circle at 8. And it's saying 8 is the biggest number and everything else is smaller. So that is where this white frame is structured. Okay. We're going to do the examples 1, 3, or the problems 1, 3, and 7, 5. Excuse me. Now it says to solve the inequality and graph the solution. If you do not have enough room and if you don't have any more paper to complete this on, just solve the inequality. If you have space or if you have another piece of paper where you could graph, go ahead and complete the graphs like you see in the examples. So number one, x plus two is greater than seven. How are we going to get the x by itself? Well, you need to subtract 2 on both sides. So if you subtract 2 on both sides, it leaves you with x is greater than 2. Uh, excuse me, x is greater than 5. You've subtracted 2 on both sides. Is it open or closed circle? It is open. At what number? 5. Okay, here we see the solution. x is greater than 5. Everything that is larger than 5, it cannot be 5, but it's larger than 5. So you have an open circle and things that are greater than 5. Okay, number 3. t divided by negative 3 is greater than negative 1. How do we get the negative 3 away from the t? We do the opposite. The opposite of dividing is multiplying. We are multiplying a negative number, which means we're going to have to flip the inequality. So we're going to have to multiply negative 3 on both sides. So negative 3 times negative 1, a negative times a negative is a what? Positive 1 times 3 is what? 3. So the last thing that you'll do is flip the inequality. Let's see what that one looks like. Here we have our sign flipped. t is less than 3. We have an open circle at 3. What's less than 3? anything in this direction. And problem number five, it has two steps. We have negative 2q plus 1 is greater than or equal to 15. Okay, our first step is to start with the variable that's, or the integer that's away from the variable. That's the 1, so what's the opposite of adding? Subtracting. We're going to subtract 1 on both sides. 15 minus 1 is 14. That leaves us with negative 2q is greater than or equal to 14. So how do we get the q all by itself? You need to divide negative 2 on both sides. When you divide or multiply with a negative, you need to flip the inequality. Okay, so that will leave us with q is less than or equal to 14 divided by negative 2. How many groups of 14, or how many groups of 2 can we use with 14, 7, and that's going to be a negative number because you only have one negative sign. Let's see what that one looks like. Okay, that leaves us with q is less than or equal to negative 7. It means q is smaller than negative 7. It's a closed circle at negative 7, and everything that is smaller is highlighted, remember? With the negative numbers, it's opposite. Okay, that leaves us with the even ones that you need to complete. Again, it says check your answers at Big Idea Math, but you will not be able to because you don't have that login. So if you have any questions or if you want to check your answers, feel free to either email me or leave it in the Flipgrid. And that is it for algebra this year.